Distinguished Secretary General, dear committee members, dear guests, I am delighted to welcome you all to the Milli Majlis of the Republic of Azerbaijan. The Milli Majlis of the Republic of Azerbaijan considers it crucial to strengthen and advance its cooperation with the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, the sole organization that unites Asian nations under a common umbrella at the interparliamentary level. The Asian Parliamentary Assembly is a significant platform of parliamentary diplomacy that unites common efforts to address current issues and challenges in order to achieve strengthening of cooperation, peace, and stability in Asia and the world. The activity of the organization aimed at promoting solidarity and fostering cooperation across various fields within the Asian continent deserves special attention. Today, during the meeting of the Standing Committee on Social and Cultural Affairs, draft resolutions on many current issues in the Asian region will be discussed. The subjects such as promotion of cultural diversity and protection of cultural heritage, Asian integration through information and communication technologies, advancement of interface dialogue among world religions, Collaboration among the fields of law and legislation in the fight against smuggling of cultural resources and others are of great importance for the region as a whole. It is a momentous fact that the draft resolution of the Commission on Women, initiated and authored by the Azerbaijani delegation, will be discussed here as well. Despite the execution of certain measures and countless efforts towards women empowerment, serious problems still persist in this field. The aforementioned draft resolution proposes the establishment of a commission on women uh, within the framework of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly for the purpose of solving related problems. It is no coincidence that the initiative to establish the Commission on Women was put forward by the political and ideological successor of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, which was first in the Muslim East to give women the right to vote in 1918. The presented documents thoroughly outline the reasons, goals, functions, and framework for the establishment of the Commission. We believe that the establishment of the Commission on Women will guarantee that the issue of ensuring gender equality is maintained in the foreground in the activities of the APA and will make a positive contribution to the elimination of discrimination against women in Asian countries. Dear participants, the advancement of cooperation with Asian nations is regarded as a key focus for Azerbaijan, which is situated in strategic crossroads where East meets West. Besides being the cradle of many Asian civilizations, Asia is presently acknowledged as one of the foremost hubs of global development. Our parliament places significant emphasis on enhancing bilateral and multilateral ties with the parliaments of Asian nations through the avenue of parliamentary diplomacy, exerting considerable effort in this direction. In this context, cooperation with the Asian Parliamentary Assembly is very important for Azerbaijan. In pursuit of consolidating solidarity, cooperation, and parliamentary diplomacy across the Asian continent, Azerbaijan has formally submitted its candidacy for the chairmanship of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly for the term 2024 and 2025. In case Azerbaijan is elected as a chair of the organization, special importance will be placed on matters including enhancing the institutional structure of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly and furthering collaboration with other interparliamentary entities. In this regard, we hope that you will lend your support to Azerbaijan. Dear participants, today you are here in Azerbaijan, you are guests of our country. And taking this opportunity, I would like to inform you on the situation currently taking place in the South Caucasus that affect peace and stability in the wider region. After liberating its territories from 30-year-long Armenian occupation in 2020, Azerbaijan has initiated normalization of relations and signing of a peace treaty with Armenia on the basis of norms and principles of international law. I strongly believe you would agree that respect to sovereignty and territorial integrity are the foundations that underpin today's international order. Despite Azerbaijan's strong will 
and consistent steps taken for the long-lasting peace and stability, Armenia has been doing right the opposite, backtracking from agreements and introducing new pretexts, escaping from real negotiations, perpetrating military and political provocations, sustaining a legal separatist regime created in our territories through all possible means have been certain line of conduct by Armenia for the last two and a half years. Azerbaijan has repeatedly called for unconditional and complete withdrawal of Armenia's more than 10,000 strong armed force from the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan and the dissolution of the puppet regime. This is a vital precondition for achieving peace and stability in the region. On September 19, Armenia armed forces stationed in the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan resorted to a number of large-scale military provocations and terror attacks. In response to this provocation, Azerbaijan has launched local counter-terrorism measures in the region. The aim of these measures were the disarmament and withdrawal of units of the armed forces of Armenia from the territories of Azerbaijan, neutralization of their military infrastructure, ensuring the safety of peaceful population restoring the constitutional system of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Considering the appeal by the representatives of the Armenian residents living in the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan, yesterday an agreement has been reached to stop the anti-terror measures under aforementioned terms. We do hope that dialogue with representatives of the Armenian residents that will restart today will result in their integration into Azerbaijani society. And we also do hope that Armenia will act responsibly within the framework of the normalization process and will sign the peace agreement that will ensure long-term peace and stability in our region. Dear participants, and in conclusion, I would like to extend my greetings to each of you once again and wish the committee success in its work. I am confident that this meeting will be fruitful and play a significant role in addressing the present challenges faced by the Asian region. Thank you for your attention.